unfortunately repentance is a is an english word based in latin metanoia in greek has no connection with the word repentance at all there is just no connection at all that was the latin vulgate version of the word metanoia they translate it repentance basically repentance being do penance and keep doing it because you need to otherwise you can't be forgiven you know have sorrow be sorrowful well it doesn't say that it's fear of god that we should repent it says it's the kindness and tolerance of god that leads us to that change of our mind so one way of looking at it is that you change your whole thinking but in reality what it's really saying is with mind metanoia so agree with god's mind about you so yes once you look at him face to face you begin to see what he says about you and you come into agreement with it um but if you're stuck in the religious thing well i need to repent what do you mean by repent well i need to be sorry enough and i need to show that i'm sorry enough and i need to do some sort of form of penance to show god i'm sorry enough so he can forgive me well he's already forgiven them you can't nail any more accusations to the cross they're all nailed you know they're all dealt with he took away that lost identity he came to seek and to save those who were lost you know, and death was the issue, not punishment. You know, Jesus came to overcome death. He overcame death with the resurrection and brought us into a resurrection life. So we all can receive that life. But I think the conditions put most people off. You know, you know all the religious conditions, which say, you know, that the word repentance and the meaning of it in sort of religious circles rather than what it's truly meaning tends to put people off because they have to do some works now some people are drawn to those works because they've got propensity to doing things to earn something so they think they're unworthy so they think they can make themselves worthy if they you know say three hail marys or you know go and serve in a soup kitchen or something you know it's like a lot of people do a lot of things for the wrong reasons. God is very happy if we go and serve in the soup kitchen, if it's an expression of his heart for us. Uh, great. But it isn't going to earn you any brownie points. You know, it's not going to make God love you anymore. And if you don't do it, go to a soup kitchen or do anything good, it's not going to make God love you any less. Because his love's not based on what we do. And that's the problem. You know, it's not a performance orientated thing. Whereas religion makes it performance orientated, sadly. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.